Hello, gang. Welcome to... <coughs> oh. oh, God, sorry. Allergies. Hey, how are you? Welcome to Schlocktoberfest. It's going to be 30 movies that I picked as some of the worst of all time. Although that doesn't really make much of a difference from the usual bad horror movies I pick. But you know what? It's Schlocktoberfest, and I'm picking out 15 really bad horror movies and 15 really bad holiday horror movies. And why not start off with this really bad piece of crap? It's Halloween Resurrection. This is going to go on forever. <sighs> Apparently, this movie is supposed to be where Michael Myers and Laurie Strode have their final confrontation. You know, that would have been kind of interesting if only Laurie Strode made it past the first 10, 12 minutes of this movie. <laughs> Apparently, Laurie Strode has been, has been in an insane asylum for the past three years because in Part 7, or H2O, or H20 as some of you might know it as, she wound up killing the wrong Michael Myers. Apparently, it was an ambulance worker who had his throat broken, who had his uh, larynx crushed, and somehow took on the role of Michael Myers in the last one. So, yeah, this movie starts off pretty idiotic. As we all know in the last one, Lori decapitated who she thought was Michael Myers, but it turned out it was somebody else. Michael Myers walks away... And Lori has been staying in an insane asylum for the past three years. Well, long story short, this movie starts off pretty stupid with Lori looking out her window and seeing Michael there, and then seeing Michael again, and then all of a sudden Michael just disappears like into thin air. Lori gets killed after trying to set up a trap for Michael, tells Michael that she'll see him in hell, and we go on to our story with our new uh, female hero named Sarah. And apparently her and some of her friends are being invited to do something called Dangertainment, which is pretty much, yeah, the Halloween Resurrection movie has come, has gone from being incredibly stupid horror to incredibly stupid horror reality TV show movie. <laughs> the movie did not get much better from there, folks. I mean, a lot of the kills were very idiotic. Uh, there, were, there were scenes that seemed like it was ripping off other horror movies. And... Really, in all honesty, the movie was a complete bore to me. Um, I couldn't stand it. I, I didn't like it very much. And and really, just to keep Busta Rhymes alive like they did LL Cool J in H20 didn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I, I do admit some of the kills in this were pretty good, but there were just too, way too many rip-off kills in this movie. And killing off Laurie Strode was a completely stupid idea in the first place. So, basically, Michael meets his end when he gets caught up in some electrical wires and gets set on fire and all this other stuff, and Buster Rhymes, who you supposedly, was supposedly died in the, uh, in the movie, comes back and makes the big save. Uh, Tyra Banks, as, she's, as you see right there, her death didn't even happen in the movie until we see her later on uh, strung up uh, in the little office where they were, uh, or in the little room where they were watching all this stupid crap going down, so there you go. Okay, so we got Jamie Lee Curtis, Tyra Banks, Buster Rhymes, uh, Bianca, I'm not even going to attempt to even try and say her last name, from uh, Bring It On and 10 Things I Hate About You, and Sean Patrick Thomas from Save the Last Dance. All in this real piece of crap. So there you go, folks. It's episode one of Schlocktoberfest. One down, 29 to go. However you feel about this movie, let me know in the comments below. And, uh... There you go. We're going to start off with with uh, one of the worst Halloween movies of all time, and we're going to end it with my pick for the worst Halloween movie of all time. Which one is it? Stick around to find out. Until the next episode, as always, stay strong and rock on. Do-do-do.